God, this thing is never working. Because you can't do short. Okay. So is this recording already? Okay, it's recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to flexibility adjust this a little. Um, it seems like there's always some sort of little problem with this, but uh, all right, let's place feet flat on the floor. Inhale and reach and exhale. Inhale, reach, and exhale. Inhale, reach, and exhale. Feet slightly apart. Inhale up, stretching the side of the body. Exhale over. And inhale up and exhale over. Again, inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Reach forward. Inhale up, exhale down, and again, bending forward from the waist, pulling the stomach in against the spine, reach forward, inhale up, exhale down, and again, reach forward, inhale up, exhale down. Taking one arm in front, other hand underneath. Let's stretch the shoulder out and wiggle the fingers. Make it this and circle. One, two, three. Reverse. One, two, three. Other arm, take it across. Wiggle. Make a fist. Circle one, two, three, reverse, one, two, three. Stretch out to the side like you're pulling taffy. Now pull it back into the center and stretch. Pull that taffy out and pull it back into the center and stretch. Pull and bring it back in, reach for the ceiling, and exhale down. Let's stand, and we're going to uh, exercise and uh, work out the spine area a little. So one foot slightly ahead of the other. We're going to 
contract back, bending that back knee. So you want to contract right here in the gut area. Bring the shoulders forward, lift and stretch and contract back and stretch, contract and stretch. One last time and contract and stretch. Feet apart, hinge forward from the waist. We're going to do cat and cow from standing position or you can do it seated if you wish. Bend, look up. All right, now contract in, bring the chin to the chest, straighten up. Contract, or I'm sorry, expand the chest, stretching, look up, and contract in. And arch the back, chin up and contract, shoulders forward, and in. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Bringing the feet a little closer in, under hip width, and we're going to bend the knees, stretch across, roll the hands across the body, stretch in, and straighten up. And bend, stretch, circle, and in. This is very good for the entire torso. And stretch, circle, pull. Other side, reach, circle, pull. Reach, circle, pull. Reach, circle, pull. All right, feet slightly more apart. We're gonna bend one knee and stretch the arm up, stretching the side of the body, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now we're going to lift both arms. We're going to bend the knees, contract, come all the way down, tap the floor, roll up, and stretch. And come forward, tap, bend the knees, and roll, stretch. Forward, tap, bend the knees, roll up. Last time, bend, touch, bend the knees, roll up. Let's stretch to each side. Reach, really reach, and pull in, and reach. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're going to hold the hands out to the side. We're going to bend those knees slightly so that the rib cage can move, and we're going to push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're pushing the ribs to the side. You can also think of it as pushing with the arms, if that's a better picture for you. We bend the knees, stretch the arms again, and push. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Inhale up, exhale down. Have a seat. Take 
one hand out to the side, palm up, lift, take it over the opposite thigh, twist, pulling the stomach in against the spine, hold the position, and release it, and come back to center, other arm, palm up, take it over, twist, Bring the stomach against the spine and bring it center, lift, take it over, twist, bring it center and lift, take the hand over, twist. and bring it center. All right, now we're going to stand and we're going to stretch the upper body, particularly in the chest area and shoulders. So you are going to place one hand on the chair seat. You're gonna bend the knees, lift the opposite arm, and stretch all the way back, hold the stretch, exhale, and come back down to the other hand. Again, stretch, and open up in the chest and shoulder area, exhale down, and inhale, look back, Exhale, down. And stand straight. We're going to do that on the other side. You can also, if you want lesser stretch in the area, hold on to the chair arm or the top of the chair as you bend the knees and stretch back. So that's another option for you. Otherwise, place the hand on the chair seat, bend the knees, take the free hand, stretch, looking back, and then exhale down to the seat. Inhale and stretch. Exhale down. And inhale. Stretch, exhale, down. All right, we can have a seat now. And we're going to place the arms out to the side and circle two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Reverse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to flex the wrist, bend, flex and bend. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Bring the arm center, stretch out. And two, try to keep those arms straight. You want to break up that fascia that's covering those muscles, keeping your arms from being as mobile as they can be. Four, five. Seven and eight. Bring it center, lift, and bring it back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
pull the elbows out to the sides. We're going to pull them back and bring them center. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, place them in W position. Push the hands down and back up to center. Two, this is all very good for upper arm, shoulders, hands and wrist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring those elbows together in elbow kisses and open out to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring the elbows together. We're going to lift and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Another good stretch. We place one hand on the shoulder, take the other hand around to the back, and reach up for it. Pull the elbow back. And release, try it on the other side. One side is usually better than the other. And pull the elbow back for a nice stretch. And exhale down. Let's just roll those shoulders now. So we lift and roll them back and down. Two, three, and four. Reverse, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, feet apart. We're going to sit at the edge of the chair. We're going to take one hand up, bring it over to the ankle of the other foot, take it up and down. And lift, take it over, touch the ankle. I'm holding on to the edge of the chair here as I go over. Two. and up. 
up. Three. Four.
six, seven, eight, and bring it center. Let's try that on the other side. Hand on the chair, other arm out. We lift, draw a circle with the knee around, bring it down and through. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And relax. Have a seat. We're going to get the knees worked out. Lift one leg, pull it in, and stretch. Two. Three. Four. Seven, eight, other leg, stretch and bend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn the feet out. Again, we're going to work with hip and core on this one. You can place the hands here or on the chair arms if you have them. Lift. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Toes forward, same thing, lift, two, if you can't do both legs, do one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's stretch out the back of the leg. Heel down, toe up, and reach past the toe, holding the stretch. Bring it back to center. Heel down, toe up, reach past the toe, and bring it back to center. All right, let's get quads a little bit now. So we're going to go into backward lunge position, taking the outside leg back. This knee is bent, so it looks like this from the side. The knee is on top of the toe. All right, now we're going to take the back leg, come up on the toe, and bend and straighten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're going to pulse. Do only as many as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the foot into the other one and stand. 
and you should feel, that quad should feel weak and wobbly. That's because you have worked it. Uh, again, I prefer the backward lunge position as opposed to the forward because too many people simply push the knee ahead of the foot and then run the risk of damaging uh, ligaments in the knee area. All right, so again, you're going to come to the other side, take the outside leg to the back, front knee is bent with the knee directly on top of the toe. We lift in the core area. Let's place the arm out here and bend and straight. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now we're going 
going to go into plank. So we stay on the forearms. We extend one leg, curl the toe, grab the other foot out, and hold. Lower the buttocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come down onto the knees. Rest a second. Go back up into plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back onto the knees. Rest. Go for the last ten if you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Come onto the chest. Bring the hands to the shoulders. And we're going to lift up into reverse cobra. And come back into child pose. to the side of the hip. We're on the forearm. We're going to stack the knees. And we're going to take the leg out to the side. Now you're going to make little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the knee in and stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now stack the knees, keep the feet together. You're going to open the knee and close. So clamshells, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come over onto the other hip. Stack the feet and legs. Extend the top leg and circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the knee in and stretch. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Stack the knees, clamshells, lift the knee, bring it back down. Open and close. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Let's roll over onto the back. Feet flat on the mat. We're going to take the hands or a cushion, place them underneath the hips, and we're going to take one leg out barely off of the floor and bring it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Place that foot down, release the other one, stretch it out, bring it right almost touching the mat, but not quite. Pull it in and stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. both knees into tabletop position. We bring one foot, touch the toe to the mat, and bring it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other leg. Place the toe on the mat, bring it back up to tabletop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now one and then the other. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that gets those uh, upper and lower abdominals beautifully. Take the hands around the shins, bring the knees tightly into the chest, and rock side to side. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, feet flat on the mat. We're going to stretch the lower back, arms out to the side, shoulders on the mat. Pull the stomach against the spine and drop the knees to one side and hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift, take it over to the other side and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back up to center. Now we're going to go into Brock's leg. So we place the soles of the feet together and we lift the knees and open. Now when we open, we're going to place the hands behind the head. We're going to crunch down, close the knees and open. Crunch. Make sure the elbows are wide, space under the chin. Crunch, exhale. Four. Five. Six. Bring the knees in between. 
going to roll to one side and sit up and over onto all fours, press up into downward facing dog, walk the hands in, roll up, head last. Stretch and Om Shanti. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. I will be here 9 a.m. tomorrow for Flexibility 1045 Theraband. Have a great day.